Hey guys, what's going on? Anthony from D's Lutz checking in today. Today we're going to check out a new set of Lutz to the internet uh, from this website here, which you can see in front of you. And there are three main sets of Lutz that come at a very affordable price and do a phenomenal, phenomenal job so far. So, so far. So, the choice of LUT today, if you don't know what a LUT is, it stands for lookup table. And if you come from a photography background and you've worked with presets in the past, very much the same exact idea. If you worked in Lightroom and you bought some presets and you just add those presets to your raw images, same idea with the video uh, world as well. So we have this image here on the left and on the right. And this, I believe, is called Ports Portsmouth. And we're going to work on creating this look in our DaVinci Resolve, which we shall fire up. And if you don't know DaVinci Resolve, I'm taking you from scratch, people. So please forgive me. A lot of people don't even know what DaVinci Resolve is from Blackmagic Design. So it is a free, yes, free grading software that you can download from Blackmagic's website. Uh, the paid version, you're only missing... Uh, Features that you most likely won't even need if you're dealing with 1080 video. Um, but if you need 4K video, that is a whole different product. Once you log in with no image, you will be get it given this screen here, which I will click on here and open. I'm going to go to my download screen where I have clips waiting for me. And we're going to click on one and two, command click. I'm going to bring both down into the pool. We're going to change. Would you like to change your timeline frame rate and video to match? Sure, I would. Always a good idea. At the bottom here, you have your media, edit, color, deliver. Four simple steps to grading. So we're going to go into edit. And you're going to say, oh, where did my... Where did my clips go, everyone? I don't have my clips. Up here, why it doesn't show you this in the first place, is they're in the media pool, but you can't do anything until you create a timeline by right-clicking, create timeline, and then doing it again, create the timeline. You can give it a name or what have you. So now you have your timeline, which is created. Please go back to your media pool and drag your clips down here for simple video editing. So you can see here we have a, uh, a boxer who's getting warmed up, wrapped up, ready to battle. Image is blue, not really very pleasing to the eye. If you, if you just like blue, then this is cool. But we're going to make it a little bit more poppy, if you don't mind, by going over to color now. So if we're moving the progression down. Um, now since we have two clips, and up to, up to the right, you see clip. We don't want to deal with just a cl one clip at a time. We want to deal with the whole timeline. So we grade both clips at the same time. And you'll notice over here in our node pool, we, did, we lost our nodes. So what we had in the beginning was we had, we had if we click back on clip, we have a node. And we can create more nodes by creating, by hitting no, add serial node, add serial node. So now we're creating a, a, a node tree if you will, and make we can make simple adjustments, uh, you know, on node three by pulling down, changing the image here, very traditional. Pull down on the shadows over here, and make it real dark and gritty. That looks pretty cool, but that's not what we're doing here today. We're gonna you we're gonna create a lot. So we're gonna go to reset all the grades and nodes. Go back to the timeline one. Make sure we're here and clip one in our timeline. Go over to the right again. Click on timeline, and you notice no LUTs. So let's create two LUTs based on how to add a LUT per instructions. We want to add Alt S, Alt S. We want to add our LUT to the outside node, not the inside node, which is 0, 1. So what we're going to do is right click, go to 3D LUT, look for our D LUTs, which is under Resolve 32 cube or Resolve 16 cube. Depends on what you what what you, what you like to work. I don't notice a difference in speed at all, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to stick with 32 cube, and we're going to go look for that Portsmouth, and here it is, and we're going to click on it. And 
Voila! What a thing of beauty. Looks just like the picture, doesn't it? Looks just like the... No, it doesn't. It doesn't look anything like that at all. These LUTs are no good. I just got scammed out of 40 bucks. No, you didn't. We just have to grade it properly now. And that's what the first serial node was for. Serial node number one. Based on the instructions, the, what they want you to do is work with your curves, which is this down here. So that's how I made it bigger. So to make it smaller, just click over here in the DaVinci Resolve. And to make it bigger, just click back on this. Okay, so those are a couple quick tips. Now if you want to work with a bigger canvas of the screen here, just make sure you're in one before you make it bigger because it disappears. Click on right now here at right next to FX, click on this bad boy. Now we get a bigger bigger picture and we want to make our bigger curves. Now the first thing you want to do with, do with curves, if you notice, if you drag down one, you're dragging down all four colors. White, red, whatever you do to one, you do to them all. So we don't want that. So let's reset and ungang. So as you can see here, you got the three little dots. Click on three little dots and let's ungang those. So now you can see if we turn, if we do one, we're just doing one. This is our green curve. So the opposite of green is, I guess, purple. Look at that. That's going to be awesome. Wow. And we are done. My work here is, no, I'm just kidding. So let's reset that. Let's make this bigger, and let's work this out to look more like this. And then we will complete the video and show you how these lets work in DaVinci Resolve. So we're going to just pull down on our blue curve, and you'll see it's getting a little bit more green. So you can test. Feel free to, feel free to go bananas. So let's bring this back up to here. Let's do a reverse F S curve on aluminums. If you don't know what a normal S curve looks like, it looks like this. Right? That's a normal S curve. But they, they suggest a reverse. So let's reverse it. Let's do what they say in the instructions. But we don't read instructions and instructions. We don't need instructions. We have YouTube videos, right? And then you notice it's still too green. We're looking for this look here. That's, that's not right. That's not there yet. So let's pull back on greeny here. So we start to get something in the ballpark of this now. And we're getting there, right? It's not a perfect match. I mean, we still have different, different backgrounds going on, different scene selections. Let's pull back on the blue a little bit more. And I think we're getting into a nice, nice area now where we're very close to providing that image that we see and if we didn't read directions we'd have been stuck with guess what we'd have been stuck with this image let's turn it off going it doesn't look anything like that but lo and behold that's what YouTube is for and creating videos to help everybody out and here we are helping you out so let's turn that back on and make this bigger and look back at what we've done so far I think we're pretty close I think I'm still a bit a little bit too yellow, so if I start to pull back on too much green, I think we'll start to lose. We're going to start to get that purple back, so we don't want that. Somewhere right in here, maybe something just like this. Let's sort of play through and take a look-see at what we have and where we are and how beautiful this LUT is. Now, you notice in the top right, left-hand corner, it says 6 frames per second, 8 frames per second. Da Vinci really does not play back at 24, 25, 30, 30 frames per second really, really well once you start to grade the image. I mean, we can make some adjustments, but as far as speeding it up or working with proxies or things of that nature, really not the, um, the most robust playback tool of all time. So let's check out, our, let's check out clip two. Let's see, where we, let's see where it was when we first added that. Portsmouth and see where we wound up because we remember we adjusted the timeline. So here we are with 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 uh, Portsmouth added. I think it looks very very nice. I like this grade. I think it worked out really 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 well. So uh, I am Anthony. And this it was the first of many future episodes tutorials of LUTs and the LUT world and all things LUTs. Uh, let me let me make one thing for you guys. Uh, let me make one thing clear. 
If you hit Command F on your Mac, you will go full screen, and then you hit the space bar, and you can play it out, take a good look at what you've done and what you've created, and how the LUT works um, and looks on your Mac or your PC. So I'm going to stop it, hit Command F again, and that is our episode. We'll go through more of these LUTs later on. So they're all here for us, and we did a good job trying to mimic the Portsmouth image. But then again, you know, this is a very, um, you know, it's everything, everything's not set in stone when you start messing with LUTs. But, you know, you give you a good working canvas, and it's up to us, the artists, the video makers, the creators, to complete it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, number episode number one of D's LUTs, and I will talk to you guys next time. Have a great day.